Hi guys, it's Kieran, and today I thought I'd share with you how I achieved this look for my brother's wedding. So I'll show you what makeup products I used, which were all drugstore, how I did my hair, and how I accessorised my outfit. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I am, facially naked, about to prime my face with the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. And all I do is squirt a bit into my hands and rub it into my face. Then using Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, I pour a little bit onto the back of my hand and using a sleep makeup brush, I dot it around my face, on my chin, cheeks, forehead and nose. Then I just begin to blend it out. Once this is done, I go in with the Rimmel Weight Me Up Concealer and just apply it under my eyes to hide those dark circles. Then I'm using the Essence Stay Natural Concealer to hide any blemishes or redness I may have, like around my nose or on my forehead. And using the same foundation brush, I just blend it all into my skin. Then to set this I use the Essence All About Matte Translucent Powder, specifically focusing on the under eye area and the T-zone if that gets particularly oily for you. Then moving on, I am using the Sleek Contour and Blush Palette. Taking the bronzer first, I suck in my cheeks and brush the bronzer onto the hollows of my cheeks, as well as other places that the sun would naturally hit, like the top of my forehead and also the underneath of my jawline. Going in with the blush from the same palette, I'm just smiling and placing the blush on the apples of my cheeks and sort of pulling it up towards my temples a bit. Then what I like to do is take the highlighter on my finger and just sort of dab it onto the tops of my cheeks to add a bit more sheen. Now onto eyes where I'm using the Gosh Forever eyeshadow pencil in gold and coating that all over my lid, sort of as a base. And if I was having a really lazy makeup day, I would literally just use this as my eyeshadow and then put some eyeliner on. It's really quick and easy. Then I'm going into the Revolution Redemption Palette Iconic One and I'm using this dark chocolate colour to work it into the crease of my eye and the outer corner too. Now keep calm because this can look super messy and quite awful but all you need to do is keep blending. Mine actually went really wrong today but I just kept 
going until I was happy with it. Then I'm going into the same palette and using this light gold shimmery colour and sort of patting it onto the inner part of my eyelids and slowly blending it into the outer corner colour. For liner I'm using the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. So what I'm doing is lining very close to my lashes first. and then making a line sort of that follows on from the lower lash line to then join with the rest of the liner to make the perfect wing, if that makes any sense. Then I like to use the Essence White Eyeliner Pencil on my waterline so my eyes don't look close enough or small like they would if I lined it with black eyeliner. Then onto lashes, I'm just curling them. Then going in with the Bourjois Volumizer Mascara which can I just say is absolutely amazing. It has two steps, the first lengthens your lashes and the second really thickens them. So I'm just doing both of these steps on both my upper and lower lashes. Now onto the lips which is my absolute favourite part of the makeup look. I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in 064 Obsession to first line my lips and then fill them in as well. I'm using my ultimate holy grail lipstick, the Rimmel Kate Moss in 107, I add the finishing touch to this makeup look. Now onto hair, I'm just brushing it to ensure there are no nasty knots but also setting it down into a side parting as well. Then all I'm going to do is French plait from the side of my head with less hair all the way down and round my head until I reach the ear on the other side, then just plait it down normally to the end. and secure it with a clear elastic. 
then basically all I'm doing is wrapping the plait around into a bun on the side of my head and making sure it stays there by using hair grips. To finish off my hair I like to pull a few little bits of hair out from either side and to spruce it up a little bit I took my hair straighteners to curl them by twisting the strand of hair around the straighteners a couple of times, holding it there for a couple of seconds and then letting go. Then I sprayed the VO5 Stronghold hairspray all over to keep everything in place. And that is the end of this makeup and hair look. My dress is a maroon red sort of colour with gold embroidery so I accessorised it with a gold clutch and gold bangles, keeping it nice and simple. Thank you for watching this video, if you liked it please click that thumbs up button and subscribe for weekly videos, bye!